Well, hello, my golfing friends. Today I am at Noordwijk and I'm practicing and I'm using also the top tracer. I'm not very handy with it, but uh, we'll uh, see how it works. So, uh, people are quiet here, so I'll talk a little bit quiet, more quiet. Uh, you've last time seen me do a, you know, a first meetup with the Pinhawk uh, uh, Drive Maverick, the PDI. So today, because it's so interesting to play with these uh, irons, because the hybrid I can't, can't hit. So I've got the, uh, of course, the uh, PDI. And it's a beautiful looking club. It's really beautiful, which is cut to my length, puts the, uh, the uh, lie angle also to 52 and a half degrees upright. And it is 17 and a half degrees. And I've uh, done the acro shaft in it, but a little bit less stiff than the rest of my irons. Um, but I normally game with the uh, driving or diving. It's more a utility iron of the of three of the Cobra, which is uh, also the same length. Uh, it was not the one a length one, but it is uh, set to 19 and a half degrees. Interesting. Now, with the, my own set, so the Pinhawk, I've got, of course, four to lob wedge with uh, all the same length. And thus also here, I've got my four iron, uh, which is, uh, of course, same length, same shaft as the rest of the iron, so stiffer than the, uh, both the uh, Cobra and also the Pinhawk. Um, but it is 20 degrees, so, all right. And then, <laughs> Just for the fun of it, I've got still a driving iron of uh, 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 Dynacraft, which is 18 degrees, but this one is one inch longer, and I've jacked up the lie angle also a little bit. So uh, I'm first going to know you know, uh, show do a few shots with it, and then I'll show you the averages. Yeah, that's it. So I will start with my Pinhawk 4 iron, which uh, I do not have the swing speed for to really get it high enough for the length. So that's why this one is normally not in the bag if I've got a hybrid. But uh, the 4 iron, 20 degrees, I, I think it is 250, 252 grams of weight. interesting I have not hit one very nicely which makes you think so <laughs> because all of the shots were, were crap uh, you see here you've got uh, it didn't record everything and it only shows the four I believe well this is the average which is you know this is what it is I'll do the uh, the uh, 18 degrees of diamond which is an inch longer So, that was four shots. He had uh, way better contact, but <laughs> if you see here, still, it's only the carry, which is for me most important, 149, and then the total 181, so it's a a average, average. So I have, uh, of course, a miss it in there, so 175, and it's all meters, eh? so this would be one, uh, run about 170. All right, okay, clear everything. Uh, Next one in the back is a different one with uh, also a different shaft with the Catalyst 80 stiff. Uh, and, and this one is a little bit less lie angle, not sure how much. And uh, it, is, it feels a little bit heavier ahead, but I do not know the stats of it. I will put it down below in the description. But it's set to 19 and a half degrees. Four shots again, interesting again, 
it's all cold, cold as a four iron, but here you see that the average carry is 142 because I had a very terrible miss hit, of course, uh, the one that uh, rolled through the ground. But uh, yeah, uh, it's 160, you saw 132, 144. Uh, not sure if these numbers uh, are helping me. Uh, let me see, can I scroll down or up? No, I don't think so. All right, we'll clear it and we'll so we'll take now the 17 and a half degree spinock driving iron, so which is a two iron. Uh, it is very light in the head and the shaft has been cut in a way that it is a little bit less stiff. But it is the Accra I, uh, IS8 wire. So here we go. I changed my technique up a little bit, for the ball a little bit more, more in front. So this was interesting. Carry 147. So totals are uh, 168. So this is what I would normally expect also from such a loft. But you really feel it that it is lighter in the head. Your, um, the Cobra is a little, feels a little bit diff, uh, heavier in the head. It has also a heavier head because that's, this one is not meant to be a uh, single length. Uh, head, S but uh, yeah, you're missing the little bit of the oomph. So I'll uh, I'll do a few other uh, shots as well. Hopefully, that is recorded then in the stats, and then I can show you it a little bit later. All clip one time. see here as well again again it's the carry is mostly you know it's compared to the last shot was one uh, 56 meters carry uh, then uh, uh, 191 total so it's of course low eh? you see it also in the height 13 meters it is all pretty low so let's see if I can have uh, the uh, stats of it but I will now use my five which I normally count for 150 meters so, yeah. So the last one, you know, uh, it ca I'm counting it as a 150 carry. So that one is pretty all right. I have, of course, one miss hit. Uh, you see 75. So if I could take that one out, I'm not sure how that works, but nah, all right. Uh, that's just this one. But um, mostly it is here. You see meters are uh, 150, uh, one. 65 but this is of course where not landed uh, this is the uh, total so yeah so you see that the oomph uh, and also the bounce and the weight uh, and of course specifically also the length of the club it's all a part of uh, of uh, yeah uh, on how far it can go potentially and I say potentially because if I miss it and everything everything goes out of the window so I'm going to, uh, as you see, two room bucket, buckets to uh, uh, train, but at least, uh, you know, I've uh, done this experiment a little bit and um, yeah, it's nice to play around with it. I um, thank you for watching. Love out.